Here we go. Get ready. Oh, wait. Your oh, fan's on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alexa, fan off. Keep that in there, Riley. Oh, my. All right. Bounce. We're ready. Get ready. We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Paige Jen. And I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. Welcome back, you guys. It's been a, a, a little break, a little holiday break. Happy New Year. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Here's to 2023. And we're back from Christmas. And um, yeah, you guys, if you guys could do us a favor, you know, we've been uh, off the grid for a couple weeks, meaning, you know, off Apple Podcasts. Spotify. Off of Spotify. And you guys really keep us on the chart. So if you could get us back up there and just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, not just on YouTube, but on the app. download button. Hit that download button and just get us back on the chart. You'd really be doing us a solid. We do need to get to number one on the chart. I mean, we're trying to take over the world. And honestly, we can't, we're doing as much as we can. We can't do that unless you guys hit the download button. So now it's on you. <laughs> yeah. And um, my armpits, I already know. Paid your armpits are hairy. I forgot I didn't shave them and I'm wearing the moo moo. Look no, how hairy. Nobody would know if you didn't plant, plant your armpit in front of a camera right now. Well, they know it all. <laughs> um, you guys, before we get started, I would like to announce some um tour dates i'm going on tour now listen a few of these shows have have already sold out and we've added a couple more i will not be adding any more shows no no so get your tickets okay i'm going to be in richmond virginia charlestown west virginia charleston south carolina west palm beach florida tampa florida orlando florida point verda florida (laughs) Albany, Georgia, Pensacola, Florida, Dayton, Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, Detroit, Michigan, Chicago, Milwaukee, Green Bay, Madison, St. Paul, South Dakota, Austin, Texas, Houston, Texas, San Antonio, Texas, Springfield, Missouri, Columbia, Missouri, Evansville, Indiana, Mount Vernon, Kentucky, Boston, Massachusetts, New York City, Pennsylvania, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and we're ending it in Dallas, Texas. Come, thank you. Come see me. Get your tickets. Eatmytrash.com. <clears throat> Swap up. So how was your holidays, honey? So you went to Utah. Yeah, I got back from Utah a couple days ago. Still a little jet lag. Yeah. But it was so nice seeing the family, just hanging out. Yeah. Getting back to my roots. Getting back to your roots. In Duchesne, Utah. Yeah, I wonder if you say a bunch of those cities wrong. Well, that's why I skipped, and I just said Pennsylvania, because I I didn't know how to say the city, so I just said Pennsylvania. (laughs) What is it? (laughs) I know it's outside of Philly. Because Duchesne, even, so the people would report the news for Duchesne and Salt Lake, but they'd call it Duchesne. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's way off. So the Pennsylvania one is, well, I guess it's easy, Ben Salem. (laughs) <laughs> best over there going you're dumb <laughs> ben salem no there was another one that was hard ben salem oh the south dakota one flandro flandru Ooh. i just wasn't even going to try it so i just said south dakota anyway um yeah once they're sold out i'm not adding any more dates so eat my trash.com get your tickets and um gosh we had a wonderful holiday you guys um, just went to maggie's house we spent christmas at maggie's been trying to chill the last couple weeks i at least took a week off and didn't do anything um uh, for, for new year's beth was like do you guys want to go i was like don't even finish what you're about to say because i'm not going nowhere and i'm not doing nothing so you just chilled on the couch oh yeah we played uh what's that called jackbox yeah we played jackbox and we just ate i mean we didn't stop eating that's the best for thanksgiving christmas there should really be no plans besides right. Plan to fucking sit there. <laughs> plan to sit there. Plan to eat. And have food going all throughout the day. Yes. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's really it. 
Food doesn't need to stop. <laughs> I know. That's a wonderful holiday. Keep out the fucking food. Don't mm-hmm. be putting it away right after you eat. Right. So, oh. yeah, we've just been chilling, and um, we're glad to be back, you guys. We are back. When we flew in to, well, we flew into Vegas, and when I got off the plane, this girl kept, like, walking past me, and she was done up, like, high heels, mini, mini skirt, like, blonde hair, long, and I was like, hmm, she's already walked past me two times, and then we're going to get our bags, and she comes walking past me again and fucking falls right in front of me. Her whole ass is out. And she was she wearing underwear? Um, thongs. Maybe a thong, but okay. all I saw was bare ass. Bar- bar- ass. <clears throat> and it was just weird. Now I know what people feel like <laughs> when I fall. But oh. it, it seemed fucking like almost fake. So I was like, "Is this stage?" She didn't know who you were, or do you think she did? <clears throat> no, she just like people helped her up. <laughs> I was right behind her, but people like hurried up and helped her up, and then she just kept walking, and then like got on her. F- pretended like she was on her phone i don't know Paige and i have planned to do way more fake falling videos very soon so we will be doing that for you i want to do it in the airport yeah that's a good one with all the luggage and shit mm-hmm. that's a good one let's go do it and let's go do it down on broadway oh yeah that's gonna be wild wild i keep saying broadway is um bourbon oh, i keep bourbon saying oh, yeah, i live by bourbon bourbon street nope. no don't. hey honey's different state here and he's New Orleans, New Orleans there. Yep. Okay, well, I mean, anything else? Or you want to go ahead and let Brett talk? Brett hasn't spoken oh. in two weeks. Well, I, one more thing. Okay. I saw a comment. You guys are always giving truck drivers shout outs. What about the manufacturers? <laughs> now listen. My dad is a manufacturer and the world wouldn't even be spinning without him. Listen, so, listen. Shout out. Get your, get, go ahead and give him a shout out. Shout out to all the manufacturers out there. And if you have anybody else who we need to shout out, let us know. Let us know who we need to shout out because, listen, <laughs> the shout outs will never stop because everyone, everyone's job makes the world. <laughs> everyone's job makes the world go round, literally. Uh-huh. Like, everyone's job is important. And you can't get mad at us for showing truckers love, okay? We We, love everyone. We love everyone. We appreciate everyone. But please comment, comment, or call us if if you feel like your job needs some a shout out. We will shout you the fuck out. Yeah, just one at a time. We'll be doing it forever. Literally, each episode we shout shout out a new career. (laughs) We do. (laughs) I know. I know. So thank so. you. We, you do not go unnoticed. No, no. So anyway, that's a great idea though. Let us know who we need to shout out next. Call us. You guys know the drill. So, but good one. Good one. Shout out to all the manufacturers out there. Yeah. Cause we wouldn't, there wouldn't be stuff to haul without you guys. The trucker, the <laughs> truck drivers couldn't go pick all the shit up. Right. So you're right. He was right. Shout out to you guys. All right. Um, Brett. Are you ready to uh, go ahead and lean forward for us? Yes. Okay. Here we go. All right. So I know you guys said no self promotion before, like right before. <laughs> I hate him so much. But we talked about in Mexico how I've never really talked about my uh, card collection. <laughs> You know, I got this hat, so I figured I might as well talk about it. Um, It's a pretty good one. Uh, My dad took care of his cards. I don't know how. He had an older brother um, that was kind of organized and uh, took care of them. A lot of them are probably like, you know, they're rated like a five or six, so they're not a lot of money, but uh, the most expensive ones or most valuable is probably uh, Pete Rose, 1963. Uh, It's worth about $8,500 starting price, but... My best card, I think, is the uh, Michael Jordan card. It's worth about $45,000. But since Chelsea rubbed it on her pussy, I'm hoping it could maybe go for, you know, 100000 It was in yeah. the case. Go ahead. Yeah. But, yeah, it was locked up when she did that. It's sealed. But on the outside of that uh, protection is some maybe some juices. Brett, this is your dad. Time's up. Sweet Lean cream. back. Sweet cream. All right, I guess we can... 
I forgot to say a vintage C-2131. That's what it is. I, hmm. they, they picked that. Okay. Me. Well, first of all, Brett's hat says, ask me about my baseball card collection. So people are always, hey, so what's up with it? And Brett goes, uh, they were my dad's. And, uh, <laughs> and we're like, get a story together, dude. Okay. Or don't wear the hat. Brett wears the hat every day. He's worn it every day for at least a year or two. Three? Three I mean, long. I mean, everywhere we go. People will ask him about his baseball card collection. And he will literally just go, oh, yeah, they were my dad's. And that's it. And we're, they're like, and we're like, Brett, you got to come up with something better to say than that. We're like, tell him about the Michael Jordan. <laughs> well, that's not a uh, baseball. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Right. Yeah. We were in Mexico and somebody asked, and he and that's what I said. I go, tell him about your Michael Jordan one. He goes, well, that's not a baseball card. <laughs> but I did rub that on my pussy. Remember yeah. that guy we talked to? In Mexico? Yes. That's on our vlog. That's on a vlog. On my Patreon. Did you put the Jamaican part in there? Sure did. Okay. That's one of the funniest vlogs I've ever put out. And it is on my Patreon if you want to go look it out. Only 16 cents a day. (laughs) Don't ever. It is 16 cents a day. (laughs) My Patreon's cheap. Dude, you sound like an in for... Why uh, 16? That's just what it came out to be. Mm. You know, $5 a month, 16 cents a day. Mm. Hey, why do they call it an uh, affidavit? Huh? Like in court? Yeah. I don't know. Affidavit? Yeah. Affidavit. That's just the name for it. (laughs) That's just the name for it. That's fucking weird. Where'd that come from? Just watching that Idaho murder case and I hear affidavit a lot and I'm like, why? It's a written statement confirmed by oath or affirmation for use as evidence in court. Oh, cool. Thank you. So like um, um, people they interview... The other people in the house or, or whoever, that's their statement. Like, that's their, af- that's what's, you know, in court, their affidavit. Mm. Yeah. So it's legit. Yeah. That's like the official, you know, you can Report. use that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was random. <laughs> affidavit. But I want to go back to uh, wiping uh, the Michael Jordan card on my pussy. I did do that. It's a $45,000 card now it, it, it wasn't a case but i did rub it on my twat now i was wearing shorts it had a ceiling too and it had so. a ceiling on it so i feel like don't come yeah. at me saying oh you ruined a expensive card it had a case on it okay it went funny, up in value i think it went up you think it went up in value because i did that mm-hmm. oh yeah thanks brett mm-hmm. well the thing is i would like move those cards a lot and he'd be like, oh, be careful. And then you come over and you took it and you rubbed it on your pussy. And I know he was having a fucking heart attack when you were doing that. Were you? No. No, I knew it was safe. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Same sus. Very. Oh, well. Value went up. Bless him. Yeah. Value went up. Because the smell. <laughs> Can you imagine if you sold that on eBay and, and you didn't put nothing about me or rubbing it or nothing and somebody gets it, you, you send it, you know, first priority or thing. They get it in the mail and they open it up and they instantly just smell something and they're like, what the hell? And they just take a whiff. Was and it it's, straight and, pussy? <laughs> Was it straight pussy you did it? No, I had pants on. But still, you can smell it through my pants. <laughs> All the time. I'm crying, dude. I'm crying, dude. I bet if they put a little microscope on it, they could see something. Stop. A moving. That's gross. I've been seeing that. Like, people will put microscopes on food. I've seen that, too. And there's things. Mm -hmm. There's living things in everything. They're everywhere. That's the comment section. They're everywhere. Especially on the cream corn. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That got me. Okay. Moving on. Woo. All right. I think. uh, Wait. Are we. Doing a DM? Let's do a do let's do a DM of the day. What's the DM for the day, honey? Oh, we'll tell ya. What's the DM for the day, honey? What's the DM for the day, honey? Listen, I have two. They were so good that I want to read both of them. Okay. You want me to go first? Oh yeah. Okay. The first one. <clears throat> Keep in mind, this is on Facebook, and this was an elderly man. Okay, named Randy. And he says, go on a diet. (laughs) (laughs) 
That's funny. <laughs> Wait till you hear the rest. Go on a diet. Lose some weight. <laughs> and quit acting like you're a badass because you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. <sighs> Let me read that again with her. Go on a diet. Lose some weight. And quit acting like you're a badass because you're not. Randy threw down. Was that all in the same day? That was the one one message. One message from Randy. Randy was mad. Randy, I pissed Randy off. Oh, my God. Dude, I was dying when I read that. <laughs> Did he respond? No. You should. I sh- Honestly, I should. You'll say, okay. And I have another one, and this is on Facebook as well. It's from a guy named Mike. Cool dude. Really cool dude. And you'll you'll see why. Review Pizza Hut's new melts, please. That was in October. And then the other day he says, So, I have the inside scoop about Pizza Hut. <laughs> the the big New Yorker is coming back. It hasn't been on the menu since nineteen ninety nine. But won't be available till after the first. Shh. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Mans loves Pizza Hut. He's got the inside scoop and wanted me to know it. How does he know? Probably works there. Does the marketing. Yeah. Shh. Don't tell anyone. I've got the inside scoop. The big New Yorker's coming back. Well, he's going to be pissed. You just read it. Yeah. But nobody's going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will say anything. I thought, what a cool dude. What's the New Yorker pizza? I think it's just like a big, and I remember it when it came out. But I, I mean, <laughs> it's just like a big, bigger pizza. Mm. Yeah, it says it's uh, 30% larger than the large size. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Big daddy. How many pizzas uh, or how many slices usually come in a pizza? Eight? Eighteen? No. Sixteen? For a large? No. Twelve? Yeah, I think they usually do like eight. I want to say eight. For a large? Yeah. How many slices I guess it depends. in a large pizza? Ten. Hmm. Ten. Okay. 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 Interesting. All right. All right. Paige, your DM. This human said, fun fact, Kellogg's cornflakes were invented to try to stop masturbation. I've heard that. But the fact that they just messaged you that? What? I don't get it, though. How would that stop anything? Brett, can you Google well, that? What about honey bunches <clears throat> of oats? Is that like all cornflakes? Kellogg's. I have heard of this, and I don't know why. Let's let's see what we come up with. Kellogg's cornflakes were invented to stop masturbation. I'm telling y'all right now, ain't nothing going to stop me from. Yeah, what? Ain't no food product is going to stop me from getting my nut. Why would they want to stop that? Start a war? Sin. Back in the day, it was very, you can't. God forbid you nut. Yeah, it says it's just hearsay. Oh. Uh, uh, hmm. So somebody just made that up? So you Googled it and real big it just said hearsay? Yeah, it's kind of what it <laughs> said. It's not real. It says it's not real. Okay. Basically. Uh, yeah. That's interesting. It says here it causes mood swings, bad posture, acne, baldness, stiff joints. I don't know. I don't Damn. I don't. Stay away from Kellogg's. Damn. That's why I eat all organic. That's mm. why I eat honey bunches of oats. And I'm kidding for everyone that's going to be like, wait, I just saw you go to Taco Bell on your Snapchat story and you're sitting there on a podcast saying you're eating all organic and that's not true because I just saw you. And just letting y'all know I was kidding. Gosh, everything we do. Mm-hmm. Got something to say. I love it. I want to hear it. Same though. <laughs> All right. What, well, what, I'm Brett? sorry. The masturbation is what causes mood swings, bad posture, acne, baldness, and that's why you invented the cornflakes. Hold on. Stop. Hold on. Yeah. What? It, it causes the exact opposite. Masturbating does not cause acne. Masturbating does not cause mood swings. Bad Quite the posture? opposite. Orgasms literally, literally are the fruit of life. And once you get a nut, you're like spruced up. Right. You're not you're, slunched over. Right. You straighten up. You're ready for the day. Yeah. So that's yeah. wrong. So to curb your sexual impulse, he created cornflakes. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. So to so okay. So if you're horny, you can either go rub one out or you can have a nice bowl of cornflakes. Mm-hmm. Is what ha- happened there? Good marketing scheme. Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. That make well that makes sense if you you know. Okay, I was wondering how is that associated? Like, yeah, does cornflakes just you know because they say strawberries will like make you horny? Mm-hmm. I believe all that stuff, kind of. Well, you can now say that about any type of food. Oh, I'm releasing a new pop tart. Prevents masturbation. Reach for the pop tart instead of your dick. <laughs> Reach for the. It will make your dick grow. You know. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. Okay. Thanks. Well, let me go ahead and um, announce the Rock Fucker of the Week. Ooh, we needed like a little cool little drum roll. We'll work on that. Um, rock Fucker of the Week is Easton from uh, from Instagram. Yeah, there we Hell go. yeah, Easton. Thank you. If you are unaware of what Rock Fucker of the Week is, once a week we pick someone from our social medias. Could be anywhere. And if you comment, like, share, anything, basically if you engage in any way with us on our um, podcast pages, you are entered for Rock Fucker of the Week and Maggie will message you, get your address and t-shirt size and we will send you a t-shirt. An exclusive Rock Fucker t-shirt. Exclusive. You can't buy this shirt. You can buy other shirts at the viralpodcast.co, but you can't buy this one. You have to win it. So you better engage, yeah. basically. Oh, yeah, one more thing that happened on uh, New Year's Eve. My ear, my right ear popped, so I could kind of hear double. Oh, does it hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. I just, when I talk, I feel like I can hear a robot. (laughs) She said you could hear an echo or something. Does it need to be popped again? Yeah, I'm going to buy, I think, a nose thing to suck and see if it pops my ear. Oh, God. That's the worst. If your your ear needing to be popped and you can't pop it. Eh, echo. But when you pop your ear, to me, that feels so fucking good. Oh. It's not even <clears throat> poppable. When I breathe out and stuff, it's not even poppable. You think you hurt, like, the drum part of it? No, I was just sitting there on the couch and... Mm. I think she's still got water in there from the snorkel. Yeah. From Mexico? Yeah. Swimmer's ear here. Honeys, we need to get that taken care of. Do you do that? When you get out of a pool, you just shake your fucking head back and forth? I'm real big about getting water out of my ears. <sighs> Feels good. Yeah. Big Q-tipper here. Should you, stop using those. You are a big Q-tipper. My, when my ears itch, I'll stick anything in there that'll fit. <laughs> Small stick, dick. Uh, anything that'll fit, it is in there scratching. My ear doesn't itch ever. Oh, mine does all the time. Inside? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, last night I stuck one of those, uh, you know, those like I, like I, I guess like you used to mascara. Oh, but it a was, wand. A wand, but it didn't have mascara on it. It was mm-hmm. just for like brushing eyebrows. Mm-hmm. I stuck that motherfucker in there and twisted it. What? <laughs> <laughs> You've never done that? <laughs> no. You ne- Do your ears itch? Never. No. What? Never. The inside of your ears is itching. Beth says yes. Beth's in the room with us. Not for me. Do you stick things in there? Yeah, I'll find whatever I can. It's normal. Beth said she finds whatever she can. It's normal. Thank you, Beth. You guys do that for scratching your back for everything. You'll get a fork, a knife. A- oh, if my feet if my feet are fucking itching, I will go grab a fork. Or a cheese grater. A cheese grater, butter knife, anything metal from the kitchen. And she's done that for <laughs> her whole life. What's that? Oh my oh, god! Oh my god! It did. <laughs> Man, dude, we're starting. Hey, yeah, turn I it gotta, off, Brett. Yeah, let me just turn this down. Instead of turning off, Brett's like, oh. <laughs> oh. I gotta go back in and do that. Do Put not Brett on the camera, thing. going. <laughs> <laughs> he was just sitting there. Do, 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 do. Good one, Brett. Somehow somebody went in and took that off. I guess you know. Oh yeah, somebody hacked somebody into your computer. <laughs> I mean, cool. All right, no worries. Now you're just somebody that I used to know. That was a banger. Loved him. All right, are we ready to get into the questions here? Yeah, I just fixed that. I toggled it back to uh, do not disturb. So somehow it changed. All right. Sorry about that. Don't need to know that. Are we ready for the questions? Let me turn this back up. Okay. Are you still telling you? (laughs) You're like, didn't need to know that? Okay, well, let me turn this back up. 
All right. I think we're ready to uh, roll that beautiful bean footage. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo Commercials. Today's episode is sponsored by Honey, the easy way to save when you're shopping with your iPhone or computer. When I find a good deal, I feel like I won the jackpot. I feel like I broke the system. I feel like I am on top of the world. And sometimes when I see something on there that I'm surprised by, I'm like, damn, I'm getting a free treat. Thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is a free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Okay, so imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you hit checkout, The honey button appears, and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds as honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. And if honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop. So I avoided all in-person shopping for Christmas. I didn't go to the mall. I didn't do, mm -mm, I'm sorry, but I'm avoiding all of the people. So I did all of my Christmas shopping online. And guess what came in handy? Honey, guess what saved me money? Honey. I saved $15 on a pair of headphones that I was going to buy anyway. Score. And honey is really easy to use. You just click and you're done. Click, 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 done. Honey doesn't just work on desktops. It works on your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash viral. That's joinhoney.com slash viral. Hey, honey. Mother-in-law just tried to charge us for Christmas lunch here. So Christmas lunch at my husband's mum's house. She tells everyone to bring a side. She tells the sisters to bring a side, the cousins to bring a side. But when it comes to us, I said, what would you like me to bring? She goes, oh, no, 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 don't worry about it. It's all good. It's fine. Wondering what's going on. Okay. Didn't bring anything. I thought I'll definitely help wash up or something. No, 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 no. I found out from my husband after Christmas, that she tried to charge us per head for Christmas lunch because we didn't bring a side. Uh, excuse me, what? She said because we worked Christmas Eve, we wouldn't have time to make a side to bring for Christmas lunch. So rather than that, we could just pay our way. And I lost it and said to my husband, like, how much are we supposed to pay? And apparently she said, pay as much as you think the meal was worth per head. We're a family of six, so she wanted us to pay, I don't know, she said, I don't know, like $10, $15 each? What the fuck, honey? No, didn't no. happen. Not happening. Anyway, had to get that off my chest, let you guys know. Tell me what you guys think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I love how Australian people say no. No. Oh, my God. Okay, so. Her mother-in-law told them not to bring a side dish and then tried to charge them after the Christmas dinner. $15 a head. And That's they have a family of six. six. What, six times 15? I, I just, don't know. I just, I just calculated it, $90. Could have, yeah. Could have gotten, uh, could have went literally and got a few boxes of mac and cheese. Throw it together. Ten bucks. I'd say catch a side of this pussy. <laughs> Start eating it, you fucking whore. <laughs> would you really? Probably. <laughs> I know you would. Catch a side of this pussy and start eating, you fucking whore. <laughs> that on a t-shirt. Catch a side of this pussy and start eating, you fucking whore. <laughs> well, dude, who would do that? Here's my thing. I get it. Groceries are fucking expensive. Fucking just to for our Christmas, I went. I was spent like seven hundred dollars on groceries. For Same. like, and for like, you know, like <clears throat> charcuterie boards though are not cheap. No, they're not. I get it; shit's expensive. But if I went over to Greg's parents and they charged us <laughs> to eat, I'd be fucking. Ma- I'd be mad. <clears throat> Call me crazy. 
it's be, it's the fact that she asked to bring a side and the mother-in-law was like, oh, no. Right. Like, Don't worry about it. It kind of just seems like maybe it, that's a game for her, the mother-in-law. I don't know. Maybe she's like that with a lot of things in my brain. I mean, that's wild to me. Like, okay, let's say, I don't know, the mother-in-law's bought food for everybody and she's like on the brokes. I mean, okay, like, but damn, Christmas dinner, she's charging for her grandkids <laughs> to eat. That's bad. That's real bad. I wouldn't go back over. I honestly wouldn't. I would just host from yeah, then on yep. and say, bring whatever you want or don't. I probably wouldn't pay either. If she made a huge fucking deal about it, I'd be like, here you go. But we're not coming. I wouldn't go again. That's wild. She goes, oh, I don't know. Whatever you think. Maybe pay 10 to $15 a head. Nah. Could have just went to the movies or something instead. Damn, dude. I'd be pissed if I was her too. I wouldn't pay either until unless she was like, yeah, making a huge fuss. Then yeah. I'd just pay to shut her the hell up. Yeah. I don't think I'd pay. That's wild. Sorry you have to deal with that. Yeah, sorry, honeys. N- $90 or or picking up a side of potato salad at the Kroger <laughs> for 15 bucks. You know what I mean? Like, Just say I'll on. make it up to you at Easter. Right. Hey, next year I'll bring two sides. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> next year I'll bring two sides. Yeah, that's still cheaper. Like, oh my gosh. <clears throat> it sounds like she's just trying to be a bitch. Mm-hmm. Say, well, guess what? You didn't have to drive anywhere. Yeah. So I'm going to need you to pay for my gas for us getting there. And I get it. She didn't bring anything. And, and the grandma was probably, the grandma and whoever else was probably cooking all day. I get that part. There's going to be people that are, there's going to be people that are like, but they cooked and they did this and all they did was sh- show up and eat. So they, I get that. But come on, it's Christmas. That's your son, his son's wife and kids. Like, chill out. Yeah, that's a weird one for me. Yeah. Love that's that. a big no for me. That's that's a no for me, dog. All right. Ready for the next question, Brett? Hey, sugar. I just wanted to say how much I love seeing Dick Prince and Grace sweatpants. I mean, I know it's a thing. I'm constantly Googling, or not Googling, but like hashtag searching the hashtag on Instagram or like gray sweatpants because I just fucking love seeing that outline of a dick in gray sweatpants. I don't know why. Is it get you guys going to? Do you love it or is it just kind of like, eh, whatever? It seriously makes me dripping throbbing. Hmm. Oh, God, I love it. Oh, yeah. Hey, honey's car caller here. Oh, yeah, with the windows down or something. Static was driving me nuts. That's all right. She had to get that off her chest. Yeah, she sure did. Loves gray sweatpants. Loves dick imprints in gray sweatpants. Do guys just free ball it with gray sweatpants? Probably the ones that want to show off. Want that dick crease? Yeah. I don't think anything about it. I mean, I do like, I like sweatpants. On men. Yeah. Like the jogger style, for sure. Because of the dick imprint or just in general? Just the style, but yeah, I guess sometimes if you see a bulge. Do you perk up? No, I just like to look. I wonder what everyone's dick looks like. Really? Oh, yeah. You've said that before. Mm -hmm. So, I mean. But listen, I'm as horny as, you know, or probably more so than the next person. But when I see a bulge, they don't do nothing for me doesn't do anything for me but i'll I don't, be i'll be looking well i'll look at it because it's there but i'm not gonna be like oh oh look at that bulge i'm horny no there is something about gray sweatpants though i feel like it's a tr- like kind of a trend mm. people love the gray sweatpants on men yeah so if you need some pussy just wear some gray sweatpants yeah joggers i think yeah be better yeah. wear gray joggers hmm yeah i don't know what, Maggie, what about you? I never thought anything about it. Same. I never, I mean, sometimes you see it, but I'm not like, you know. Yeah. The gray sweatpants, I think, accentuate the dick. Yeah. Oh, it does for sure. The tip. The tip of the dick. Yeah. Look at the tip of the dick. 
<laughs> Brett, Dude. would you ever wear joggers and free ball and have your dick printed out in there? Oh, yeah, I do that. I, I, I was about to say, I thought you did. But and you know he has a big head. He, okay, Brett does have a big head. Here's the thing. Your dick head is not that big, but it's bigger than the shaft, so it makes the head look really big. It looks Thanks. like a legit mushroom. Yes, he has got a mushroom head, and I have seen Brett's dick. Mm-hmm. I Ooh. saw it. Hmm. Hard and stuff. Hard? Well, no, didn't I mean, y'all just fuck? No. No. It was oh. just early in the morning. So, so you had kinda, a little bit of b- blood flow going? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. I saw it, though. What was that called, the challenge? I was dead asleep, and all of a sudden the light comes on, and <laughs> I open my eyes, and Brett's standing there naked. I actually hey. took it down because I was worried I might get deleted. Scare me? For the dick. I think TikTok thing. deleted it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Just because you said <clears throat> dick. Oh, God. Beth has posted a video of me, like, scratching my pubes. You can't even see the pubes, and Instagram took it. They've been, oh, my. It's so, I know. It's so bad. They've been all over my shit lately. That's why we have Patreon and OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. And (sighs) even if I tag Chelsea in something, Mm -hmm. that my, all my story views go down, like, Mm -hmm. they're trying to take us down. Big time. But we're trying to take over the world. But little do they know, we're taking over the world. And I'm dead serious. They're trying to take us down, but we're going over the we're taking over the world. Yeah, we'll we'll get them in the end. And I'm dead serious. In the end, we'll get them. And we'll say, ha, Gotti. <laughs> exactly. Love you. Yeah, love so it. love you, honeys. Uh it is it's sweatpants season, so enjoy those dongs. Love ya. At the start of the year, I always have the best intentions. Whether that's to move my body more try to relax more, be on my phone less. One thing I know I can check off my to-do list is eating better. Thanks to Daily Harvest. Daily Harvest delivers flatbreads, harvest bowls, smoothies, snacks, lattes, and more. Built on organic fruits and vegetables. Mm. And Daily Harvest works directly with farmers to serve up the best ingredients. And they never use artificial preservatives or ingredients. With nourishing and easy-to-prep options, I never have to think twice about my next meal. And everything stays fresh in my freezer until I'm ready to pop it out and enjoy it. Honestly, I love everything from Daily Harvest, but my favorite is the little, the little flatbreads. Lola and Liv come over and eat all of them. I literally have to hide them from them. But the flatbreads are my favorite. And I love the harvest bowls, and it's so simple. So on nights I don't want to cook dinner, I just, you know, crack one of those open, throw it in the microwave. Mmm, so good. Daily Harvest is committed to human and planetary health, which means they do their absolute best to ensure transparency and integrity when it comes to their ingredients and the humans that grow them. By supporting farmers who invest in practices that increase biodiversity and improve the health of our soil, and by delivering food in recyclable and compostable packaging, Daily Harvest does the work. I eat and enjoy. It's a win-win. If eating well is a goal for 2023, let Daily Harvest support you on the journey. Go to dailyharvest.com viral to get up to $40 off your first box. That's dailyharvest.com slash viral for up to $40 off your first box. Dailyharvest.com slash viral. Hey guys, Joe here. Um, Sorry if I sound a little weird. I've been sick lately. Um, But I just wanted to, you know, get you guys' opinion on something. Um, So I found out that my uncle is cheating on my auntie with my auntie's best friend, and the reason why I know this is because my cousin was going through uh, her dad's phone, which is my uncle, and saw all kinds of text messages and stuff. So we're just trying to, one, we're just wondering, what do you think we should do? Should we tell my auntie, or should we just leave it alone because it's none of our business? What would you guys do? Mm. Thank you, guys. Love you. Oh, yeah. Love you, honeys. <clears throat> That's a saucy one. Found out uncle's cheating on aunt. With the aunt's best friend? <sighs> Even worse. Do they tell? Um, in that situation, <clears throat> I'm very much like case by case. You know, some people I probably wouldn't say anything. Some people I would. 
In this case, I would. Yeah, because <clears throat> how close are you? If you for sure know right. something's <clears throat> up, then go. Right. How do you say it, though? Well, I, you know, my aunt, this was years ago. My aunt, and we were having this conversation, and she goes, well, she goes, um, she had a friend who was remarried to her second husband, had kids with them, and she goes, I remember finding out, like I had heard something or something that he was cheating on her. And she goes, I never said anything to her because I remember having a conversation with her not too long before that where she was saying, this is the first time in my life that I'm happy. Mm-hmm. You know, I've my baby's now, my, I'm happy in my marriage, like happy, just all around happy. And she goes, I could not break, I could not tell her. And I believe they're still married, <laughs> you know, so... You know, like she in cases like that, it's like fuck. Yeah, because you don't want to be the bearer of bad news no. and start shit. Because that kind of puts you in the middle of it. And I'm on my own business. I would want. I mean, if I was getting cheated on, I would for sure want somebody to probably tell me. Yeah, and so the, I'm not like this situation. I would. Yeah. But how do you? I'm even watching break, Brett. How do you even break the news? I would just be like. Hey. Hey, I was going through your husband's phone. (laughs) (laughs) That already is fucking weird. Right. Mm -hmm. No, I, yeah, that's a tough one. But I think it was my aunt and uncle and then her best friend was involved. Yeah. There's no, there's no easy way to soften that blow. You're just going to have to, I would say something that, yeah. I would probably take her out or be somewhere with just her. And then I would say, hey, have you ever Mm -hmm. suspected... La da da, and your husband, and uncle, fucking. <laughs> and half the time, you guys, I feel like a lot of these people would already know, either already know or already suspect something. But I would honestly, literally, be like, "Hey, like, you know, I, I have to bring something up to you. I would feel horrible if I, if I didn't bring this up to you, and it's not, you know, I don't want to tell you this, but you I just saw, have to say it. Yeah, just yeah. say I saw something, and I just want to let make you make know. sure you know. Yes, that's the way to go about it. Yeah, and good luck on that one, because... With the best friend. Fuck that friend. Oh, my God, that's the worst. What if the auntie's like, yeah, I already know. Yeah, we're all fucking. We're all fucking each other. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> Hopefully that's the case. Yeah. She's like, oh, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, I know. I eat her pussy. Yeah. Or we have an open thing. Some people don't, you know, they'd never suspect, you know, so, but yeah, I, w- I would bring that up. Good uh, luck out there. Good luck, and thank you for calling in. Love ya. Hi, honey. Casey here. I was just calling because my mother-in-law has some serious boundary issues, and I've had to set many boundaries with her already, but this woman keeps insinuating that she wants to know the size of my husband, her son's penis. And I'm just like, this is not normal. Like, and I don't even know how to, like, respond. Like, I usually just, like, try to change the subject or whatever. We have three kids together, and my husband is, you know, regular size. He ain't tiny, but it's not like he's got a fucking horse cock on him. But, you know, I'm just like, how in the hell am I supposed to react to that? It's so bizarre, and it makes my husband super uncomfortable because he's like, why the fuck did my mom, like, talk about my dick? So, yeah, I was just wondering um, how you guys would respond if your significant other's um, moms were wanting to know about the size of their junk. So, um, yeah, I uh, hope you guys have some advice for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> uh, Whoa. <clears throat> okay. Well. Uh, I honestly would be like, show her. Or, show her. or just I would show just, her. like, have a picture and be like, do you want to see it? <laughs> yeah. Or I would just say, oh, That's funny. yeah, it's probably, like, five, six That's inches funny. hard. Here, here's the thing. Apparently, she's asked multiple times. This, they made it seem like it wasn't, like, a one-time thing, like, that she's talked about and asked about it multiple times. About her son's dick. Yeah. I feel like if you're like in a family setting like us, that'd be no, that'd be no big deal. But they're making it seem like she's not like crazy, like she's not like a, you know, she's not open. She's literally just focused on the the son's dick. 
which is odd. This is something I've never heard, so. I know. I don't know where to go with this. I wonder how she's asking. I know. What exactly does she say? And what does she want from it? But that's funny. I would either do two things. I would literally, next time it gets brought up or something, I would literally say something like, hey, like, that's weird that you're asking and and you're making him uncomfortable. Or, Or he could say, hey, that's weird that you're asking. You're making me uncomfortable. Please don't ask about my dick again. Straight up. To Straight the mom, up. To the mom. Don't ask about a dick again. Or if they're really wanting to fuck with her, which I think they should do, I think you're right. Next time it happens, he should be like, hey, do you want to see? And start, oh, you know, start, you know, she'll freak out or she may want to look at it. She probably wants to get up in her. My whole thing is if people are going to be creepy, I will creep the creepy yes i will out creep your creepiness so i would just yeah definitely show it to her yeah or i'd be like well hey i, I took a picture last time he was hard because i knew you'd ask again here let me show you <laughs> oh, yeah <laughs> here or, you go yeah just go grab a, the biggest cock <laughs> off of google <laughs> that's funny that's funny or get you know that two headed the, the two the guy with two penises <laughs> google that and show her that this, this is your son this is what you made. Are you proud? <coughs> He's got two of them. With the two-headed cock guy. Diphalic. Diphalic. God. You know what is weird that this question got asked? My For You page here lately, the last week or so, has been really stuck on, number one, sister wives. Number two, ma- boy moms. Like, overstepping their boundary like so it's weird that this was asked because like all my for you pages stuff like is like either sons or their wives complaining about like dude this is what my mom does this is what my husband's mom does like she's obsessed with him like almost like boy moms being obsessed with their sons and not daughters that's strange i have psychiatrists on my for you and i'm like how did this get on my shit that's like all i see isn't that some like edip Oedipus, Oedipus shit. What's that? Isn't yeah. it when, like, the freaking mom and son fuck? Oh, that... It happens so much they call it something? No, I think it's, like, the it's like from name the, of a character. Maybe oh. it's, like, Shakespeare? I don't know. It's oh. from, like, Shakespeare or something. I don't know. Damn, y'all are educated. Or Sophocles. <laughs> y'all are really educated. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> because, well... <laughs> Never mind. Okay. I just know about the story of Oedipus. Oh. Yeah, but I don't know where it's from. Well, everyone in my family says my sister, and we're always saying she's, like, too close to my little nephew, mm-hmm. but, like, obviously not. Mm-hmm. Um, so we call her. <laughs> we call, That's so we mean. We call her that. That's funny, but mean. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but, yeah, the, apparently this is, like, a phenomenon. It's a thing. And obviously not all boy moms, but there's, like, a percentage who are, like, obsessed with their little boys and it and it then it doesn't grow they don't grow out of it so they have pr- like the boys have problems when because they grow of, up and yeah. get why you know and it's hard for the wife or anybody <sighs> in the relationship because oh i would f- oh moms get jealous of that's the, their kid that's it and they're nobody's good enough for their son that's it so this could i mean this is a weird that her wanting to know that and and here's the thing, if she's brought it up multiple times and they they have kind of like, you know, not said anything or whatever, like, the mom's not taking a hint. Oh, no. She wants to see it. <laughs> I would literally fuck around with her next time it happens. Please fuck around with her. Call us back and let us know. God, call us back. And call us if you have any, like, weird story, like, like, weird stories about this subject. Like possessive moms? Yeah. I'd like to know or write us on, you know, if you don't want to call in, you can always write us on Instagram. We will read, you know, your questions, your stories. Like you can always do that. I'm just imagining my mom, if she was doing that to Jerry, your that's mom, fucking freaky. I think Jerry would pull it out. He would. No, I bet he'd be like, huh? <laughs> it's fucking weird. Yeah. He'd pull it <laughs> out. If, if we asked, he'd pull it out. Yeah. Gosh, I don't want to see it, though. No. Didn't you say you used to, like, dance around, though, when you were growing up and stand up and shake his wiener? No, he wasn't. 
So every day Jerry would get home, he hated clothes. Yeah. Like even before going to school, if he had to put on clothes, he was crying. And Aww. every day after school, he'd rip off all of his clothes at the front door and then go watch like Ninja Turtles or Power Rangers. And <gasps> we'd jump off the table being Power Rangers. But he was always in just underwear. Yeah. Our whole life. Well, that's me around the house. I, I will have a muumuu on if people are over here, but I'm in my underwear. Yeah, I like big t-shirts. Yeah. What about big cocks? Not a fan of huge, huge, huge cocks because they can hurt sometimes yeah. going doggy style, but I'm I'm an average cock lover. Yeah. <laughs> it's all you need, average cock. Yeah. Brett? Yes. What do you think about what she just said? That's great. Yeah. I feel like I'm above average, you know, Okay. but that's fine. What do you feel? What do you feel like? Do you think he's right? 4.5 is average. Yeah, he's above. Okay. Thank you. That's great, Brett. Thank you. That's wonderful. Yeah. Love you, honeys. Thanks Thank for calling in. Thank you for calling in. Hey, honeys. New mom here. Um, I just had my first baby almost six months ago. And while I was pregnant, um, my boyfriend and I... Once we decided a name for our child, we decided not to tell anybody until he was born. So we didn't want to tell anybody his name until he came into the world. Um, and I'm wondering, is that something weird? Do people still do that? My question is, would you guys do that? If you were going to have a child, would you keep the name a secret or would you tell people? Let me know. Um, and for the record, my son's name, our son's name is Luca Vaughn. And um, yeah, we didn't tell anybody his name until he was born. All right. Is that weird? And what would you name your children? God damn it. What? You okay, honeys? <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> um, Luke I like this question because it's different. Yeah. First off, let's, if we had a child, what would we name it? Oh, fuck. You know, I can't even get a tattoo because I can't, like, yeah. keep the design. I'd be sick of it. So I can't be telling names right now, honestly. I've had a name. For a while. What does it start with? Well, in high, like junior high and high school, I had a name. Oh, God. And it's so, it's... <laughs> I had names back then. <laughs> and I feel bad. If, if this is your name, I'm not dogging on it. But if I had a child now, I'd never name it this. It's a new year, you guys. Let's be the best we can be. But you can't be your best if you're stressed. Get ahead of stress this year by experiencing the full potential of CBD with Next Evo Naturals. Next Evo Naturals is the most clinically studied CBD brand, and their smart sorb technology can help you get a better start to the year with products like their Stress CBD Complex. Me and Brett take the sleep support gummies every night before bed. Damn, we be sleeping on them. Good sleep. Hard sleep. And the best sleep that we've had in probably a couple years. So I'm such a, I, honestly, I'm a very light sleeper. Any little noise, like, wakes me up. Like, if Tilly or Gary, like, move, it wakes me up. And I've noticed, honestly, since since taking these, I sleep deep. Like, once I go to sleep, the next time I wake up is in the morning, which is so refreshing. Only Next Evo uses Smart Zorb CBD. Proven for 30 times better absorption in the first 30 minutes. Don't just use any CBD brand, okay? Most CBD products on the market only have 2 to 10% uh, percent absorption. So at least 90% is actually wasted. Next Evo is different. It delivers four times better overall CBD absorption and has been proven in multiple clinical studies. Make CBD a part of reaching your full potential with Next Evo Naturals. Go to nextevo.com slash podcast and use promo code viral 
to get 20% off your first order of $40 or more. That's 20% off $40 or more at nextevo.com slash podcast with code viral. Mine was going to be Kirsten. Oh, shit. oh my God! You idiot, <laughs> Kirsten! How would you I spell never knew it? That. <laughs> <laughs> but I was gonna, I was gonna uh, spell it K E E R. K E E R S T N. Kirsten. And I want to puke now thinking about that. K E E R S T N. No. And Becca, my best friend from high school, she was going to name hers. What's that bottled water? Aquafina. Evian. Evian. No, she was was not. (laughs) She was going to name her daughter Evian after the water. Oh my gosh. That's terrible. Sounds wet. (laughs) Evian. Evian. Just the first thing she can see. Oh my God. Um, I, I thought were you? I was going to be having twins at 25 when I was younger. And then I know one of them was going to be Cameron with a K. Okay. That's not that bad. And then um, Charlie. That's I still cute. like Charlie. That's though. cute. Yeah. I kind of liked the boy names for girls. I kind of yeah. still do too. That's very cute. But nowadays if i was popping out a kid i don't even know it, i would probably be last minute thinking you know what i like the name and i've always i've kept this for a few years and i'm never i'm probably never gonna have kids but if i have a, if i ever have a little girl i thought this name would be cute do you know it maggie mm-hmm. I know it. you know it beth mm-hmm. you want me to say it should they say it on the count of three yeah. if, it's, if it's gonna be the same one yeah, it will be. they can't hear beth though. they can't hear beth but we'll know if she says it one two three Myrtle. It is Myrtle. <laughs> Myrtle. Myrtle. I just think of Myrtle Beach or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Myrtle. I like old lady names for kids. I like Gwen. That's cute. I think that's cute. Um, Claire. That's cute. But Myrtle? Myrtle's cute. I like different names. I think Myrtle is cute. Mm-hmm. That is so cute. Maybe my next dog's name will be Myrtle. Mm-hmm. Myrtle. But here's the thing. Would you, if you got pregnant... She's asking, would you keep the name a secret? Do you think it's a big deal to keep it a secret? Do you think it's dumb? Would you? I mean, people are just going to do what they want to do. But for me, I mean, I the buildup of keeping that, nah. I, yeah. I wouldn't be keeping that a secret. And I would have to confirm with everyone, hey, what do you think about this name? Yeah. So I wouldn't keep a secret. Yeah. I understand why people do it. And I understand why celebrities do it, um, but I don't think I would. But also, you have to look at the fact of like if you tell people, them being like, "Oh, I don't, I don't like that," or "Really, your name?" So you have to deal with like, and then you're then you're second guessing yourself. And you're like, "Fuck," I, you know. So if I think you, it's good to get a second opinion. I don't know, man. I think if that's what you, if that's what you want, I think you should do it and not listen to other people. If you want to name your kid that. If you want to name your kid Radio Shack. GameStop. GameStop. Battery Battery Plus. The coldest. Best Buy. The Oh, people who had their kids during COVID. We know a girl who works at the hospital. And she's been reading the names to us. It's like. What? Their their names are like Corona Virus. No. Yeah. That's a real thing. Uh huh. The names. Virus. Virus. <laughs> Corona virus. Virus. Yeah. I like the name Alien. Oh no! <laughs> Stop, Alien. Brett. Oh, Alien. Yeah. Like Ladasha, but just a dash. That's actually good. That's actually really good. Ladasha with a dash. Mm-hmm. I would fucking name my kid that. I'm not kidding. That's fucking good. <laughs> no. Ladasha with a dash. Yes, ma'am. Just name your kid Dash and just have a dash. Oh, a symbol. Just Whoa. have a dash. I don't I don't think you can legally do that. I don't know. Well, it's Elon Prince Musk's did. kid's name, X. Yeah, but that's a, that's the actual letter. No symbols? I don't know. Damn. 
Why? Me? I think I would, if I was to have a kid, I personally would probably just tell everybody. And if they didn't like it, I'd say, I don't care. Um, They're going to hear the name either way, but right. the buildup would give me some yeah. some sort of not good feelings. I'd be like, oh my gosh, yeah. they're going to hate it. She's not going to like yeah. it. She's going to love it. But I think if the if you do want to keep it a secret and have that just between you and your partner, I think that's, who get. I don't think there's anything dumb about that or not at all. No. So I think it's just what you want to do. I'd be the parent who just doesn't have a name on the birth certificate probably for a couple of weeks after trying to decide. Really? Jasmine did that. That's annoying to me. She was going to name my nephew Ollie. Until the And then my other sister named her kid Ollie, but <laughs> she waited for like weeks after and then changed it to Ashton instead of Ollie. And that's another thing. P- people do do that because they like, well, I want to see the baby first. I want to, you know, and if nothing comes, I mean, I guess it, yeah, it would be hard if you can't think of something. I told my sister last minute, name him Klein, my other sister. Uh. And she was going to name her baby Klein and then they looked it up and it meant vagina. Wait, Klein means vagina? Yeah, I think we've talked about it. What? So that's why you need that second opinion. Don't want to be naming your kid Vagina. If you're going to do that, just name it Vagina instead of Klein. <laughs> Danny Duncan named his horse Vagina, and he goes, want to pet Vagina? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> and, God. And, like, all these old people come up and pet it. Go, oh, oh, Vagina. That's wild. Brett, what are you Googling there? I was trying to see if Klein really meant Vagina, but I, I can't find it. That yet. is odd. I guess certain words do mean other things. Like, you'd never know. What if you don't know? What are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to Google every word in the in the world to know? I don't know. Maggie, did you Google your kids' names? No. You just named them. I just named them. Did you keep it a secret or Mm-mm. and you were pretty much like, it's gonna be lo- it's gonna be this, and that was pretty much it. Yeah. Stuck with it the whole time. Or I changed lives around kind of last minute. What was it gonna be? I was gonna name her Willow. I think that's cute, Willow. But I changed it. And she would fit a willow, I yeah. think. I feel like <laughs> she would fit a willow. That's cute. Very cute. Brett, did you ever have names that you were going to name your kids when you like were in high school and stuff? Do dudes do that? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Nah. I bet some guys do. I always said if I was to ever have boy twins, I would name them Brennan and Dale. From Step Brothers? 100%. You said that before Step Brothers? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, for Step, oh, over Step Brothers. Yeah. She's got a smile and it seems to me reminds me of childhood memory. All right. Next question, please. That felt great, though. Hi, honeys broken heart girl here um so started talking to this guy was going great he was so open and communicative and transparent about his feelings for about three weeks and then all of a sudden it's ghost mode um and i just wanted to let you know that like that sinking feeling that you get in your stomach when you realize you're being ghosted that last like three days your guys's podcast has helped me get through the past few days. I've been binging you guys, and I truly could not be more thankful for your podcast and just your presence and your humor and everything right now. So wanted to thank you guys and also ask you what your thoughts are um, on on men ghosting women. Um, If they come back around and they come back from the dead, do they get a second chance? I don't know how much grace to extend to him. Would love your guys' thoughts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She said when they come back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I love this question. Hell no. Because here's what's happening. Okay? At least I think. I'm assuming in this situation. Things are going great. Y'all are talking for weeks. If it's, it's, you know, it's feeling good. All of a sudden, that motherfucker's goat. He is ghost town city. Here's what's happening. If he comes back days later, weeks later, whatever, the chick he ghosted you for ghosted him. 
Mm-hmm. And you're the rebound. And you're like, oh, well, things were going good with her before I ghosted her. Let me go see if she's dumb enough. For me l- to use l- her. Let me just say, oh, my phone broke and I wasn't able to get it till pay. No, shut the fuck up. You ghosted her for some hotter piece, bed, whatever. Talking, you know, because pe- people these days, because of dating apps, don't talk to like one. Like, everybody's talking to like. It's like a cesspool of people talking to people. Oh, it's so bad. And if one person gets your attention, if one, you know what I mean? Like that's what, go, that's what the ghosting game is. Cause you have, it's options. Exactly. And instead of being like, Hey, I've been talking to someone else this whole time. I like her better. Nobody's going to say that. So now nobody has, you know, enough respect to do that. So they're just going to ghost you. Well, things didn't work out with her. She found somebody different. She wasn't feeling him, Whatever. So now this motherfucker's back to square one. Be like, oh, coming back to you. Hell no. And just remember what he did to you. That same thing will just keep happening. If he comes back and then somebody else distracts him, distracts him, Mm -hmm. then he'll probably just be on his way again. Oh. And then you'll be feeling how you feel right now. Yeah, I would. Oh, hell no. If I got ghosted and the motherfucker comes back. Mm -mm. No, he's not. Maggie, we know that you ghost a lot. But have you ever been ghosted and someone came back? She she said yes, she got ghosted. Yes, actually. Me and Beth were, remember? What He's, happened? This was God just a few weeks ago. When we first moved here, uh-huh. I was talking to this guy. He was really nice, good looking. Uh, he ghosted me. And I was like, okay, whatever. I left his number in my phone. And God, like a month later, he texts me and he goes, I'm so sorry. I'm such an idiot. And I said, who is this? Even though I knew who it was. Ah! And then he sent me a picture of him and I just didn't even respond. Good. I was like, fuck him. Why did he ghost you? I don't know. Probably. Or like, did you guys have a plan or, and then he didn't show up or just stopped texting you? No, he just stopped texting. He just ghosted me. So when, after he sent that pic and you never replied, he didn't respond ever again? Or did he message you? Uh Uh-uh. He never. He he knew. Yeah, he knew. Because he said, I'm so stupid. Yeah, motherfucker, you are. Like, oh, yeah. You are. Try to find somebody like Maggie. That bitch is the queen. Of, she's the one that does the ghosting. Uh huh. But I don't get mad. No. Because it, it's like, whatever. It's yeah. like, you're an idiot. It's like, I'll, get, I'll just keep swiping. Yeah. Damn. Oh, I, that would, oh my God, that would irk me. Because that's what's happening. But it made my day too. Yeah. Because I was like, you're an idiot. Yeah. You know, and I, sh- I was actually in the car with Beth, and I was like, Beth, he fucking texted me, and I told her the whole story. And Oh. Gosh, there's nothing worse than uh, getting ghosted, though, and you're like, what did I do? That's what I'm saying. Well, it's, it you is pro- a shitty feeling. You probably didn't do anything. I mean, sometimes, sure, he's not feeling it, whatever, but somebody else just probably, there's too much going on with today's dating. I cannot imagine and i've said this like i feel so bad for the young people that are dating and like for low and live that are going to be dating so- soon it's like i cannot it's not normal they won't have a normal way of like meeting people and dating people it's like too there's too much going on there's too much i just feel so bad for the young people that not even the young people but the older people who are single now know that that's not the normal way to do things. The younger people will never know any different. Sad. And that is sad. It really is. Just, it would make me not trust anybody. Oh my gosh. Because they probably don't get off the app. Get, <laughs> what do you mean get off the app? Like if you start dating somebody. Oh. Like and that, they're probably still going to be on the app. Yeah, that's a whole, that's a whole nother thing. Yeah, then you have to be like, hey, did you delete the app? Oh, God. Uh, I think I'm in a hole on. It's, yeah, man. I I feel bad, honestly. I feel bad. Too much going on. Too many people. It's It's not normal. It's just too easy. Yeah. Too easy for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's not normal for someone to find something genuine. Now, sure, sometimes, you know, good things do come out of today's dating world. Absolutely. But for the most part, it's not normal and it's not good to find something genuine and something it's all diluted and it's all i think there's stats on it right oh, i bet but will you look up the stats i think it was like so <laughs> low of the relationships that actually come from 
what should he Google? Um, yeah. Tender. Just type in like uh, percentage, percentage of relationships of relation- from yeah. Tinder. Yeah. I don't know, man. But that's a hard. That's a hard one. I would never, ever. I think too, uh, with the dating apps and just how easy it is, it makes people really feel like insecure or just like trying to top each other. You know, like for girls or anybody, yeah. just like jealousy and yeah, all the shit that goes into it. Mm-hmm. Mind fuck. Yeah, for sure. Brett, would you pull up? Uh, all I got right here, it says uh, 42% of people using Tinder are already in relationships. <gasps> oh, I've heard that already? too. Already? Yeah. Yeah. That's Damn, another thing. That's a new step. Most of the men on there are married. What? And they'll straight up tell you, hey, I'm married. You know, I, I'm just looking for a piece. Isn't there another? Isn't Some there excitement. A... Oh, that's what I'm thinking. There's like a. What's it called? It's Ashley Madison. Yeah. It's a website for... Older people, right? No, just for people that are in marriages wanting to have affairs. What? Stick to that shit and leave the dating apps for people that are actually single looking for people. Damn, so you can just go cheat on Ashley Madison? Yes. That's how um, Josh Duggar got caught. Who the hell's dog? Oh, Josh God. Remember Duggar? the Duggars on TLC? <laughs> How do you know that? Oh yeah, the Duggars wow. were. It was not Teen Kids and County or something like that. Like these, he was oh, the yeah. oldest one. He was the oldest. He's in jail now. From Ashley Madison, I want to say child pornography. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, he's in jail. I don't know. I, that's I don't know details, but I'm almost positive he went to jail. He's probably getting beat up in there. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. And I think it was for child pornography. It is if it's not, and I misspoke, I apologize on that. But I want to say it was something along those lines. But he might be out now because wasn't that years ago? No, this has just been recent. Oh, I'm almost positive. But he—that's how he was on because him and his wife had their first kiss at the altar. They weren't allowed to like hold hands, like hug. That's their religion. Was that like? strict strict they couldn't hug they couldn't go on dates by themselves they even they couldn't even be alone by themselves at all until they got married what religion were they i think lds no no they're from arkansas i want to say just christian maybe but maybe like an extreme i don't know am i right christian oh he went he did go to he did go to jail for child pornography but they're a baptist they're baptist independent baptist but like extreme extreme and uh he um yeah him and his wife i mean they started having kids instantly and this motherfucker it was a big scandal years ago they fa- because ashley madison somebody somebody hacked in and leaked like all these emails from people um um not like cele- i don't know if who's celebrity but like uh fa- call it congressmen and shit were on there oh yeah i bet and they found josh duggar on there Apparently he was like had been getting prostitutes and stuff for years and just going back to his wife and kids. Oh, oh what a piece of shit. Yeah. I don't know how we got started talking on this, but that's Ashley Madison, the website. For some reason, I was thinking it was for older people. What's no. that? Match.com. Oh, yeah. There's match and then. Okay. Yeah. But lots, anyway. Lots yeah. of dating apps. Yeah. Lots of dating apps. And, um. Man, if you guys are single out there, whether you're young or whether you're older, God, we wish you all the best. And just, you know, try to be good to people. And we hope that you have a good experience and we hope you find what you're looking for. Because people's feelings do, I know it's a text and whatever, but like, at least tell them. Yeah. It's hard to tell people, though, that you've never met. Right. (laughs) Hey, found something different. Yeah. But we wish you guys all the best in your dating endeavors in 2023 because shit's wild out there. Be careful. Yeah. Hey, honey. Sleep question here. So Chelsea always talks about how much she loves sleep and how important sleep is to her. Sleep. As sleep is important for a lot of things. But I have a few questions. How do you ladies like to sleep? For example, I know Chelsea likes earplugs. What about things like having a fan on, wearing PJs, blanket or comforter? Do you have to have a nightlight? Do you have any stuffed animals? What kind of pillows do you use? And most importantly, socks on, the socks off. Mm-hmm. 
Love you, honey. Oh, yeah. Love you, honey. Sleep questions. She was kind of hard for me to hear. I didn't hear what she was saying at the beginning. She's asking that she knows that I love sleep. How do we sleep? What do we like? Etc. Well, sleep to me is the most important thing in the world. I will take sleep over a good nut. Food. Over a good meal. Over a nut in general. It doesn't have to be good. I will take sleep as my number one. Sleep. God, nothing feels better than sleeping. And just being in your bed. <laughs> oh, Chilling. God, there's nothing better. And when I wake up in the middle of the night to turn over or something, and I'm in my bed, I'm not even mad that I woke up. I'm like, oh, I'm in bed. Yeah, if you have longer to sleep. Yeah. I kind of like, mm, I would take food over sleep, I think. Oh, uh-uh. I love mornings, but I do like to have my own blanket. Yeah, I have to have my own blanket. I can't share a blanket with Greg. I will, hell no. There's with nothing anybody. worse. When somebody gets up and fucking moves and then you can feel the air. Nah. Have to have my own blanket. I love it completely dark in there and I love it cold. I have to have a fan on me. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm simple. I like it cold because I actually sweat when I sleep and then no fucking socks ever. Yeah. Mm-mm. And then either like a big loose t-shirt or naked. I have to sleep completely naked. I cannot sleep in anything. I won't be able to sleep. I like being naked, but sometimes I feel itchy. Really? If there, yeah. Huh. Maybe my hair falls out in the bed. Yeah. And itches me, but. Scratches on you. Scratchy. We still need to go TikTok live as we're sleeping. <sighs> Chelsea's going to be fucking snoring so loud. We need to go live as we're sleeping. Let's plan that soon. I've been watching some good live TikToks. This guy plays bingo live. I want to go play bingo. He has like freaking five sheets of bingo cards. He just sets up his phone. That's smart. Yeah. And he had 12,000 viewers in there watching him. Play bingo. Mm Mm-hmm. Wow. Got a pretty cool marker too. Ooh, one of of the stamps. I want those. Yeah. That was satisfying. We need to find a bingo place here. Mm -hmm. I thought it's illegal. You have to go up to Wait, what? No. Bingo? No. Yep. No. Bingo's illegal in Tennessee? I think so. No, Maggie. You're telling me the old church ladies don't have a bingo thing going on here? No, there's no way. Brett, look that up. I've already looked it up. You have to go up to Kentucky. You've looked this up? Yes. Looking for a bingo hall. There's not one in Tennessee. What do you mean? Looking for a bingo hall. It's considered gambling. What the? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my God. Yeah, you won't find any uh, bingo parlors in Tennessee, it says. Uh -uh. What? So we have to just have our own bingo party. No, it's more fun if you're there with strangers and there's just an old dude up there calling the balls. Yeah. We it's got, not the same if we do it ourselves. Well, damn, we got to drive. We got to drive up to Kentucky. I bet it's Let's not far. Let's do it, though. It's like an hour. There's one about an hour away. I'll do it. Yeah. Can, can you buy, or maybe every place is different, but can you buy usually as many bingo cards mm-hmm. as you want? Mm-hmm. This guy has fucking, wait, five, ten, I think he had like 20. See, I can't do that because it's too much for me to... Because when I when last time I went to bingo, it was, I mean, fast, fast, fast. And I could barely keep up with my one or two. Yeah, that's why he has those 12,000 viewers watching him. <laughs> oh, my God. Scanning. Wow. Well, cool. We'll be making a trip. Kentucky, y'all. To the bingo hall. To the bingo <laughs> hall. <laughs> that's mind-blowing. Oh, my. Mm-hmm. Tennessee's kind of weak in that department. The casinos, yeah. the... The weed. Yeah. I mean, do better. Yeah. Come on, let us play bingo and smoke a doobie. (laughs) (laughs) Your fucking face. I mean, I'm serious. Come on, man. Come on. We're stuck in 1999. We need to have a petition. Yeah. Can you imagine us petitioning down on Broadway? Bingo and weed. Yeah. I wonder how the strip club, are the strip clubs completely bottomless here? I don't know. Look that up, Brad. (laughs) Because there's nothing worse than going into a strip club. And I'm not even into women. But when they got panties on, I want to be like, what? I want to see pussy. Well, that's that's probably clothed. No. There's no casinos. You can't smoke weed here. They're probably clothed. No way. They've They've got strip clubs. They have to be topless. 
It says Nashville is one of the worst cities for strip clubs. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> There's a three foot rule. This what? Was a, but this is what? A, <laughs> what? A three foot rule? What about lap dances? But this is on Reddit. I saw it was in 2015, so maybe oh. it's changed. Oh, yeah. But. Get it updated. Yeah, I'll update that one. <sighs> Well, we got to go to a strip club and find out ourselves. If I was a stripper wearing panties, dude, I'd be living in snail trails. Or, like, you could at least probably see some. You'd see my discharge on there. Yeah, you sure. would be seeing discharge left and right. Can you imagine? <laughs> I wonder if they have to change throughout the night. Can you imagine if I'm a stripper and you come to see me at work and I'm stripping, I'm on the pole and I'm looking hot, and all of a sudden I get in front of you and do that little leg thing where they <clears throat> pop open their legs and you see discharge? Would you tell me? If I didn't even know you? Well, either way. I mean, no. Because it's <laughs> going to happen. It's, it's normal. normal. That's wild. So it's all, so it's bottom, they don't have bottomless? Guess we got to do our own research. We have to go. Yeah. When I was a stripper for the um, skit uh-huh. that we did. Yeah. And I had to just keep, I had to tuck in my pubes like every second. They were falling off the sides and shit. And that was gonna, and that was being filmed for the, for the big TVs. If your New Year's resolution is to save money and just manage it better, then you need Rocket Money. As Truebill is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Over eighty percent of people have subscriptions that they've forgot about. And I'm part of that 80% because when I downloaded Rocket Money, uh, they got got me. I didn't even know I had subscriptions out there that were taking money from me each month. So get Rocket Money and do better. Rocket Money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you. So you can stop paying for the ones you don't want, okay? And listen, Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as a click of a button. For real, simply find the subscription you don't want and press cancel. Rocket Money will cancel it for you. You guys, that's literally it. That's what we're talking about. No more long hold times with customer service or waiting on them to email you back and forth. No, 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 no. We're not doing that no more, okay? Over 3 million people have used Rocket Money. Saving the average person up to $720 a year. This is the real deal. I've talked about this in previous ads, and I'm going to do it every time. I'm not going to name the brand, okay, because I don't want nobody suing me. But I bought something on their website thinking that that was it. Little did I know, in those little fine prints underneath, they had been taking out money from my PayPal for six months. And I knew nothing about it they were charging me like $25 a month okay hopped on you know this little thing we're talking about here rocket money boom wouldn't you know it I knew nothing about it you guys it's quick simple easy that's it stop throwing your money away cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash viral that's rocketmoney.com slash viral. Rocketmoney.com slash viral. Why lap dances in Nashville are illegal, but group sex isn't. But that was put out in 2007. That it, it was. Are lap dances legal in Nashville? I don't even care about lap dances. Are they bottomless? We just got to go find out. There's so many strip clubs around here. Like, I'm in disbelief. There's a lot here, actually. I love a good strip club. Yeah, what's the point, though, if you are clothed? You could just go down to the fucking nearest swimming pool. Right, that's true. In Utah, what's weird is the 18 and over is bottomless because there's no alcohol. Yeah. Oh. What, Biffy, what'd you find? It's kind of weird. The Hustlers Club in downtown Nashville is totally nude. The Hustlers Club in downtown Nashville is totally nude. Mm. I tell you what, when I walk into a strip club and they have bottoms on, I'm like, I'm not getting my money's worth. Show me the pussy. And I don't even like pussy, but I want to see it. I just want to see him dancing. Oh, like, I love I love strippers so much. I love girl. when they dance. I love when they have glitter on them. I love when they smell like vanilla. I love when they come vanilla. up and... Vanilla! I love it. <laughs> I love strippers. 
<laughs> I love when they come up and talk to me. I love that they're hustling and I, oh, we love a good strip club. Smelling like Bath and Body, that mm-hmm. green bottle. Mm-hmm. I love it. I, there's nothing more fun than a good strip club. Nothing. The dark ass lights. <sighs> oh, I'm last, usually drunk. When I go. Last time we went was in Vegas. Me, Maggie, and Beth went to a strip club. Yeah. You said it sucked. Well, we went to two. The first one sucked ass. The first one was oh my god. And we went to, we found a strip club and there's like this little strip mall, like hole in the wall strip club. And it ended up being the best one. Mm-hmm. Hey, I heard there was a UFO over a strip club in Vegas right before Christmas. Is that true? Brett? <laughs> <laughs> you want to Google that? Sure. They were all walking out of the Sapphire strip club. Isn't that the first one we went yeah, to? That's the one that sucked. Oh God, it was horrible. Yeah. But they, go ahead. They had this guy on TikTok looking like Sapphire was just a. Like he Hop, was wearing a suit, hopping by. Uh, yeah, there wasn't even a stage. There was like tables. I don't. I think they had half of it like shut off. There was nobody up there dancing. All the strippers were just sitting at tables, coming up asking if you want lap dances. I don't. We don't gotta get into it. It it was worse after worse after worse after worse. But um, what'd you find, Brett? It says it was likely a rare weather phenomenon in oh. Vegas. Yeah, I have been itching for Vegas bad but hold on a rare weather phenomenon something was hovering over the sapphire strip club for 10 minutes huh and people were going oh I taking gotta, videos is there a shit. video of it it YouTube was very that. silented so i gotta youtube that so uh if we go missing yeah. you guys know why yeah aliens <laughs> that'd be cool though aliens or the i don't think aliens are mean me either, but you know the what? if you speak out on that stuff, yeah, you might get got by the G unit. <laughs> you might you might get got, but I will say this: I don't think aliens are mean. And if I got sucked up, if they wanted to check me out, study me, I'd be all for it. I'd be like, "What you need me to do? What you want?" I think aliens are with us. Oh yeah, what if Brett's one? An alien? <laughs> a Leon. Alien. What if he's a Leon? <laughs> we don't know. I've said this on this podcast many times. I don't know anything. We think we do. We can assume. But technically, we don't know. Do you think that there are people walking around us all the time that are like, um, yes. what did they say, non Human? Yeah. Well, yeah. What's the word? Kind of non- lizard like? Ca- or- non celestial. Is it celestial? aliens? Uh-huh. Yeah. Probably. Extraterrestrials? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like Westworld? Type I've, never, I've never seen that. Those are robots. I, uh, let's yeah. just put it this way. If it came out, if, if God came down now and gave us all the answers, all the answers we've ever wanted to know, and if he said, hey guys, Aliens are not real. I'd be like, okay. If he was like, hey guys, aliens are real. I'd be like, okay. What if he said, hey guys, Tammy. (laughs) (laughs) I can't hear you say hey guys. Stop (laughs) it. If God came down and said, hey guys, Tammy here. Hey guys, Tammy here. Aliens are not real. That'd be wild. You know, like I just don't put it past anything. I'd just be like. I wouldn't be sh- I wouldn't be surprised or shocked at anything. If these people who are like, "Oh, Bigfoot's not real and that's not re- ghosts aren't because re- they don't experience it." I'm just like, "Man, you don't know." Well, what about the moon landing? <laughs> oh, if that's real or not? I don't know. I think anything can be faked. I'm not saying it was fake, but I don't know. Yeah, moon landing for me, it's a it's it's a it's, it's a, no. a sus. It's a oh I I just don't think it happened, but that's okay. Well, I'm not one of those people that's like, no, that happened because they said that happened, and that's yeah. that's I'm not no I I don't put it past anybody on anything. Like I just think, I just think that we all know and we have an opinion, and some people think no, that's not. And I'm just like, eh. Some people can't even talk though. They get so. Yeah. Fucking heated. It's like, I know. just give your opinions and then Chill. You, you exchange opinions and then you form yeah. another opinion or stick with your whatever. Right. But people are like, 
no, mm-hmm. I know that this is real and th- and just preach. Yeah. I remember I used to work with this guy. I didn't care for him that much and we didn't work together very long, but he, I don't know, we were at lunch and the conversation got talking about aliens. I don't know if there was a story out or something. I don't know, but we were talking about aliens and he was like, no, he goes, I, that's silly. I don't, I don't believe in any of that. And I was like, you don't? And he goes, no. He goes, yeah, if there were aliens, I feel like the government would have told us by now. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and I wish Beth was part of this conversation right now because Beth is all, Beth has government alien documents printed out in folders in her room. And she even hangs some of them up on the walls. Yeah, she'll be like, Paige, come here, look. I wish we had a camera on Beth right now. She's laughing, but it's true. This bitch is like... Loves aliens. I mean, I love alien talk too, but this bitch like masturbates to it, I'm sure. Beth, do you? Yeah. She does. So I just... But if I found out they weren't they weren't real, I'd be like, okay, like... I don't know, I just... Y'all know how I am. I just don't put anything past anything. Yeah, like the earth being flat around. I don't know what... Um, like, <laughs> oh God, you're about to get a, you're about to, you're about to get. No, but like, if I they told us, hey, the oh earth, yeah, the Earth's flat, I'd be like, okay, now what? Though? Right, like, I I don't know. I just think we don't, you know. I I just wouldn't be so firm on, you know, people who are like, oh, ghosts aren't real because I've never experienced anything. I'm like, mm, mm, you know, like, I don't know, just because you haven't seen big, you know, I, I don't know. I'm just. I'm very open minded mm-hmm. and and open to there's nothing that anyone can tell me that I would think that's stupid, you're wrong, absolutely no way that could ever be possible. I've never thought that in my life. Yeah, just try to see their point. I've never thought anyone was stupid. I've never thought they're ridiculous ever. I'm very like open minded to everything. Topics that you would think are crazy, I'm just I don't think are. I just think, you know. I'm just open to everything, is what I'm saying. So anyway, what were we talking about? Uh, the strip club. Strip clubs. <laughs> the strip clubs. How did we even get started talking about that? Well, the I, question was, how do you like to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> mm, how do you suck dick? Mm, how do you, can we play that, Brett? Mm, how do you suck dick? Mm-hmm. Here we go. How do you suck dick? Keep going. How do you suck dick? Mm, how do you suck dick? Yeah, so I guess we answered the sleep ones. Technically, we did. So, all right, we're sleep. ready for the next question, Brett. Hold well, on. You okay? Yeah. Hey, honeys, question here. Okay, so I love how y'all always preach, like, communicate, 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 communication rules, freaking nation, right? Okay, so what do you do when you communicate with someone and they – get defensive or get mad at you when you try to bring up something that you're trying to work through and talk about because girl, I am confused. Girls and Brett, I am confused. All right. I love you, honeys. Oh yeah. Love you, honeys. That's frustrating. Yeah. Is when you try to communicate with somebody and they can't take it. Because we do preach that because that, that is very important in marriages, relationships, friendships, like, if you have a problem, if you have a po- anything positive, anything communicate, talk. That is extremely important. And she's saying, "Hey, I'm trying to talk," and he's not having it. He's defensive. He's this. That's hard, man. I feel like a lot of people who are defensive, they don't realize that you're telling them for a reason, like that you are affected. Right? They think, "Oh my gosh, she's coming at me. She, it's all my fault." It. And they just can't even hear the words coming out of your mouth because they think you're bitching at them when that's not the case. Right. And I feel like this is probably super common. Um, I feel like if you're trying to talk to someone and they kind of aren't listening and they, you know, maybe aren't having a conversation with you or they're defensive, I feel like that's almost like as it's almost a respect thing. You're coming to them with something. And they're basically shutting you off. Basically saying, there's no need for, no, we're done talking about this because I'm being defensive or I'm reacting however way. I feel like that's almost a respect thing. And I would not be okay with that. Yeah, if you're in a relationship like that, I would say you would start feeling very lonely. Yeah. Because you can't ever talk to 
your significant other about right. how you feel without them thinking, oh, gosh. Mm-hmm. And then that will just start a fight. Right. And then it will never end. <sighs> I'm thinking of. It's a ad- tennis match. And I'm thinking of, of advice on this. God. You know, besides, you know, throwing out the big therapy there, I don't feel like there really is. You can't. That's like almost, you know. And not that this is the same, but it's almost like trying to make someone love you mm-hmm. or make someone. You can't make someone respect and have a conversation with you. You can't make people listen yes. or you can't change the way people. that's on them. They need to work mm-hmm. on their insecurities or past traumas or whatever right. the hell is going on with them. Right. I feel like, but I agree. It's a hard one for sure. <sighs> And especially if it's somebody close to you. Mm -hmm. Someone that you love. That is hard. I mean, I I could say you could tell, you could tell them how you feel about that, but that (laughs) they're going to be defensive about that too. They're going to be, you know, that's, that's, and I think that's the downfall of a lot of relationships, friendships, marriages is that. Mm -hmm. They're not Not, having. Yeah. Not really putting yourself in other people's shoes. Just not seeing. Yep. Not seeing their side, not trying to come up with a solution for something. Like, that's that's the downfall right there, I think. I'm sorry you're going through that, honey, because I'm sure a lot of you are. I feel like I've been really, like, blessed with Greg. He's always been very, like, open to stuff. I mean, we have problems for sure. Don't get me started. But I feel like I've, I almost don't have a whole lot of, you know, a whole lot to say on this because I feel like I've been really lucky with Greg he's always been you know open with stuff but yeah and we have said that the whole time communication is key yeah that's what me and Brett don't don't do well at yeah communication communication because I feel like the person who just called oh you feel like the person that just called (laughs) oh Brett are you great at communicating yes (laughs) <laughs> do, 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 do. um yeah man i don't know what to say i feel like if it gets to that point where you can't talk to your other person or you can't be happy there's nothing there is nothing worth the relationship i feel like if you can't talk to yeah anybody, and i've always thought like growing up people are like oh you need to find somebody who truly understands you. And I've just always been like, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Or like, you know what? I don't even care about looks. I just want to be understood. Yeah. Now it all like, yeah. the older you get, you're just like, it makes so much fucking sense. Cause you don't want to feel alone. And that's the person you go to for yeah. your mental health too. Yeah. So it's just like, if they can't understand you. It's really hard and lonely and not fun. Yeah. Man, there's so much shit that as a kid, even in high school or even like early 20s that I didn't really understand that people, I would hear people say whatever. And now I'm just like, damn, use right. Use right. You get it. You hear people say shit and then you don't understand that. And now you're like, damn, I get it, man. Just, yeah, everything that happens reflects back to everything somebody said one time. Yeah. But I feel like in this case, in, in this in this uh, subject, I feel like if you get to that point, I feel like that's probably when where therapy takes over. Where you can't really do anymore. I think that's why people go to therapy. If you can't handle it at home, if you can't have that that discussion at home, you need, you most people need like a third party to come in and help you do that. So I think that's why a lot of people in relationships go to therapy. Because trying to change somebody's mind and be like, you're not understanding yeah. me, you're not getting it, and yeah, yeah, that's that's a lot too. So, yeah. best of luck, honeys. We fucking love ya. Best of luck. Thank you so much for calling in. I hope you know. Um, hope it works out for you, and we love you. It's last call. <gasps> Hey, honey, just let y'all know y'all killing it. Uh, trucker here. Uh, Brent, gonna need you to lean on back, bud, and get ready for this one. <laughs> y'all was talking about old Smokey Bear doing the crab walk up the wall, tugging on his old meat, meat there. Uh, first damn thing coming to my mind was 
He's got to be wearing them down hospital no slip socks. You don't know them out. And then uh, his playlist is probably like Alan Jackson tonight. I climbed the wall. Man, I had to pull this some bitch over on the side of the road. I was crying, laughing so hard. Y'all doing great. Keep on doing what you're doing. Truck her out later on. <laughs> we got I a little the honk. We got a little honk. Uh. Oh my God! Thank you so much for calling in. You know we love truckers, and bro, if you got okay, if you guys missed an episode of a few episodes ago, a couple episodes ago, we had a call about a guy who basically would climb the wall with his feet, lay on his back, climb the wall with his feet, and masturbate into his mouth. Yeah, and we're not quite sure, but the hospital socks. The fact that he said he's probably wearing non-slip hospital socks so he can get a good grip on the wall. <laughs> So he can get a good grip on the wall. What song is that Alan Jackson one? I, Tonight I Climb the Wall. I've never heard that Alan Jackson song. Yeah. We can't play it here because of copyright issues. But Google that. And think of that motherfucker climbing a wall. And it was a cop. That's right. The guy that was climbing the wall was a cop. And I don't know why that needs to be added, but it does. Because that <laughs> motherfucker is pulling you over for speeding. And he's climbing walls coming into his mouth. Which is totally different, but I mean... And like I said episodes ago, it's not even the coming in the mouth that's wild and funny. It's that he climbs a wall to do it. Climbs a fucking wall. <sighs> wow. Well, hey, stay safe, safe out there on the road, all of you driving. And we're so happy that you guys, you know, listen to us while you're doing that. And didn't we get rock magnets? We did. I was going to say, I was. we're going to start... We need to do some, you and I need to talk about doing some content about that because I have an idea. I have a really good idea about that. Yeah. But we do have rock magnets now. Um, you know, we talked epi- a long time ago, like six months or so. I don't know about about people being mad that people are flashing truckers, like truckers need consent for you to flash them. So we were saying, damn, they need some sort of sticker that when you're coming up behind them, you can see that they, that means, hey. You can flash me your titties. Show me the titties. And it's a big rock. So we are selling those magnets. So if you are a trucker, we're trying to get this to go worldwide. If you're a trucker and you want to see titties on the road. It could also be a butthole. But any body part. Get yourself a rock magnet. Put it on the back of your truck. Slap it on. And if you are driving on the highway and you see a rock magnet on a truck, that means he wants to see your titties. So we're trying to get this to go worldwide, guys. You know all these truckers are going to be buying rock magnets and their wives are going to go, what the hell are you buying this for? <laughs> no, that's great. All the companies making us. <laughs> Company slapped it on there. <laughs> <laughs> and Com- then they, this becomes worldwide. <laughs> Company slapped it on there. I don't know. <laughs> That's said so we had funny. to that's great gosh um, that's fucking <laughs> good times if i ever see a rock magnet i'll die in if i'm just driving on the highway and i see one on there i will probably just them. flip my shit i'm spreading my butthole i might even take a shit out the window whoa that's <laughs> wild the first time ever seeing a rock magnet yeah i'll that's I don't even want to think about it. We're trying to get this to go worldwide, you guys. We're going to do some content. <laughs> that's, I'm dead, dead serious. We're going to get some content built around the rock magnets, but it's it's going to happen. And uh, what else? I think we're all good here. Yeah, do you guys, guys, you guys, please go uh, follow me on Patreon. Follow page on OnlyFans. We have exclusive content on there. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I'm going to start doing better on there. Yeah, she's going to start doing better. I'm doing good on on my shit. What are you posting? Just I'm vlogs? posting. I'm posting all types of shit, and not to toot my own horn, but people are people are posting in the Rock Fuckers group like, "Oh my god, it's totally worth the five dollars." So thank you guys. I'm posting exclusive vlogs, mukbangs. Obviously, all 35 episodes of Tammy Bangs are on there. I'm doing giveaways. Um, I've got two tiers: a five dollar tier, which has all of the content. And I have a fifteen dollar tier, which when shows start, I'm going to be doing giving away um, tickets and meet and greet tickets. So I do a lot of giveaways on the fifteen dollar tier. Um, I'm posting to stories a lot. Um, I'm just I've been posting my titties on the story because they looked big on my period. But I am going to do 
my Polaroid giveaways again. Yes, that's a good idea. Yeah, I just take pictures of my pubes and butthole and mm-hmm. stuff and then sign them. Yeah. Oh, and guys, I forgot, I'm gonna, I forgot to tell you. So I bought a new house. And that actually, I vlogged a whole house tour, which is on my Patreon. But I bought a new house. It's right down the road from where, where I live now. And so eventually, hopefully, in the next couple months, um, we will have a new podcast studio. Because the house is yeah. bigger. So you guys will be having a podcast studio. We will have enough room to have guests. So that'll be fun. Switch it up here. Do something new. Do something fresh. Do something exciting. We will have guests um, occasionally on the pod. And what else? That was it, huh? I think so. I think that's it. So just call us in if you have any juicy stories or maybe like a conspiracy theory you think is real or whatever. We'd love to hear them. Tell us about those mothers out there being wanting to see dicks. Mm-hmm. And call, call us. us at 442 442- Seven 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 three 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 one. And always remember, you're doing great. You're looking good. And fuck what everybody else thinks. Get ready. We're going viral.